So hi everyone, my name is Sergey. I'm co-founder of One Inch Network. Uh, One Inch Network is, uh, is uh, <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> it's a set of, uh, <laughs> um, it's a distributed network of distributed protocols. Uh, it includes aggregation among uh, distributed exchanges and DeFi itself. Uh, we actually invented aggregation in DeFi space uh, before DeFi starts to, to be DeFi. Um, back in 2019. <clears throat> Dijin is for me someone who, who, who knows uh, uh, DeFi, distributed finance very well and is looking for profit and likes me, like memes. Thank you so much. The question, Sergei, to you. How many of them are real degenerates? <laughs> How many? The, the, the ratio. Yeah. Uh, how many of the degens are really uh, degenerates? I didn't get it, I guess. How many degens? How many of them yeah. are real degens? Um, I guess uh, every degen out there is unique, really unique. Based on what, what I see <laughs> okay. seen, uh, in the sheet storms, uh, I, I get uh, almost every month. Okay, thank you. <laughs>I can speak from my personal experience. So we got like already 100 times shitstorm on Twitter. Um, and it's partially true, yeah. Uh, but you, everyone who get this shitstorm, uh, that those degens or people who are using your service or your products, your, your protocols are unhappy uh, about anything. Uh, you shouldn't take it personally. What, what is the case in, from our point of view in Andre Cronier? They call sometimes people to, to, to join a fight in a cage or a box fight. Actually, I did it also once. Uh, it was just a joke, but uh, this guy took it seriously. Um, yeah, just, just I, I try to not uh, to, to taking care about that. Just uh, keep building and uh, yeah, continue innovating. I would like to add to this. Uh, uh, it's actually cool to get feedback. From the community, it's also if, if it's also really bad. It sounds really bad, and uh, but but it's still a, a feedback, so you can improve your product. So I, I don't like also to use MetaMask because it's terrible. But <laughs> I share my feedback, but yeah, they don't care. Uh, it, I, I personally I care about any feedback. So also if it's bad, it's cool to improve the, the product. I would say make token hodler to 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 be a user. Yeah. So like a good example is with Ethereum. To send a transaction, you need a Ethereum. So also in all these economics out there, uh, uh, every, every protocol should make the token hodler to to be, be a user. Yeah. You, you need a kind of a logic behind that. So the, you you your token is for using utility, <laughs> not the security. <laughs> I, I fully agree. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you write a code and you have a bug in it, so from my point of view, you're responsible in it, not the user who is uh, using and trusts you potentially because you have already a good reputation. That's why we have seen a lot of hacks in uh, Andre Cronier uh, projects. And because he didn't care about the security audits, and he said, "I build it for myself, but uh, open broad. and and, pro broad. and promoted, uh, promoted it for everyone, and the, everyone trusted this person. So it's it's yours if you have built it. I have also to add, it's not only about tests; uh, it's very important, and but also security audits is very important. Yeah. So from my point of view, right now in DeFi, when you publish something, you should audit." You code from everyone who is offering this service. I know this is ex expensive, but it, it, it helps. So based on our experience. Uh, it's gonna be a DeFi if you uh, will have still the same composability. A good example with the our arcs, uh, our arc deployed under Fireblocks. So if uh, under Fireblocks all the balancer would deploy and also one inch would deploy, then one inch can aggregate balancer and also Aave, and we, we can make happen, for example, you can migrate from A die to A if with just sim simple click, and this is DeFi. 
then maybe Uniswap will join it and, and others. Uh, maybe in the future we will not have only Fireblocks doing that. Maybe we need uh, something more global and maybe a standard for permission DeFi with a standard for KYC certificates and standard for, to verify them on a smart contract level. I would like to add, um, if you are talking about decentralization, how decentral decentralized are we right now in Ethereum? If you look on the mining pools, there are like four big mining pools, and if three of them like put something together, they can scam everyone. And uh, how, how many billions do we have in DeFi right now? So you know, like <laughs> we we are not decentralized from our point of view yet, but we can be uh, soon with uh, like this. Uh, uh, upgrades of Ethereum. I would like to see all my tokens in the wallet. I don't like to add the token by myself. And I need a search field to find the right token and the sort functionality. Please prioritize that to the, to the, to the highest level. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to write my own extension. <laughs> How we see it on, on, on one inch is that uh, this cross, like this, a lot of networks are around Ethereum. It's just uh, uh, only for a short time. Uh, layer two solve huge problems, uh, scalability problems, and it's more safer than to uh, move all the funds uh, to a fork of Ethereum with no innovation technology behind that.